Hello guys, this is that Panda got him here again with another video and today we're gonna be looking at the ruins fight This is gonna be a video in its own entity. Okay. Um, I did cut this down I didn't want to cut out all the footage. You know, I know that it's, it's like 16 minutes I might not talk the full 16 minutes, but I do think that some people are maybe just interested in seeing the you know Majority of it. I did have to cut out parts because you know I'm moving around a lot and it's kind of hard for me to uh, Constantly keep the footage sped up and I keep like having to cut like a uh, little parts of the video slow down the speed Because I am moving around on this account a lot. I do end up swapping to my other account and it uh it does like kind of just sit still for a while which makes it easier to speed it up but you know like it's i had to cut down a lot um this was like three hours of footage by the way so i hope you guys do enjoy this i just thought you guys might enjoy having this video and you know i thought what 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 pain will it do but um we'll talk about the overall situation that we're kind of faced with here so um we had dhx as well as boone kind of taking both sides of the ruins and this would kind of help us not really um do a lot of, I guess, crossfire, right? Because if we obviously fought together, you know, we maybe pushed from one side together, um, we would have probably had a lot of crossfire, a lot of people clicking on each other. And this would have just made the overall situation that we would be facing really inconvenient and really annoying. So um, we do end up kind of taking two different sides of the ruins and fighting from there. And the thing is, um, although this does take a while, literally three hours of freaking field fighting, I do think that it just took a matter of time of kind of draining the majority of HMB players, although it wouldn't drain the whales in a fight like this. And the thing is, I actually think it's much harder to drain people because, you know, there's a lot of lag and it takes forever to kind of focus down the right people. And I feel like the damage um, is maybe like, I, I, I don't know if it's just me or I feel like in these big field fights, I even felt this the last time that maybe the damage you're dealing is just a lot slower or sometimes you have like 20 people swarming a target, but you don't actually know that because it's in such a big murder ball. So you're not actually doing damage to who you clicked on and I'm having to like zoom in. I'm having to click, you know, the tiniest fraction of things I can see. And if I do damage, I do damage. If I don't do damage, well, F me, right? Like that's literally the situation you're kind of faced with. And, um, Ruins is opening up soon and the thing I will mention here is it is kind of like an RNG thing and uh, it, I think it's like the last march that hits it right so if you have these crazy swarms going in you want to be the last person to hit it that captures it and you know I was very hopeful that maybe Boone would get that capture maybe DHX would get that capture but HMB does end up getting the capture and I was like no we're gonna have to fight here forever and it's honestly really lucky that we took it as soon as we did because I felt like this battle could have gone on longer um there was a lot of aoe on that ruin so i think that a lot of people honestly probably lost like a lot of troops fighting in that aoe it was crazy um but like i was saying uh i i will say one thing i did notice and i think this actually screwed over h and b a bit uh they were running a lot of counter rallies and i get the point of the counter rallies right they wanted to disperse their rallies i really get that but i do think in a way this inadvertently caused their uh own failure in a sort of way because you know managing these counter rallies was definitely a pain considering that they had so many people field fighting and they also had people who needed to stay as fillers for the ruins and another thing i wanted to mention is the fact that there are so many people field fighting meant that ruins was struggling a lot more because although i do think that maybe it was partially um an effect of well the ruins is kind of this this so and this so and far right like uh from players bases i do think that they can't be used the full way because ruins was not swarmed the full and like uh it, it was not swarmed the full time right it was not swarmed the full time of like the thing and a lot of the time when i was scouting it sorry like uh, i said the thing but it's like the field fight a lot of the time when i was scouting it, it was down to like 1.5 million troops and you might be thinking well panda that's not too bad well when you consider that that's 500k less than you can have in the ruins and to be fair it's possible that people were sending troops from afar every time i scouted it so maybe they were trying to keep it topped off and people were pulling people were sending people were pulling people were sending but this would attribute to the uh worser like of the report right because um obviously the rally was kept full basically the majority of the um whole three hours right whereas the you know the ruins even if it was down to maybe 1.5 million sometimes 1 million and they were spam filling this thing it just became harder and harder as the fight went on as we slowly burnt out you know i get i guess what would you call them um more so the average players that like, consider me right like i can field fight but i can't field fight for 10 hours straight 
And that's probably the same case for a lot of these guys who maybe can like, you know, put in their work, but at some point they're kind of drained out and you kind of have to rely on the whales to pave a way and kind of protect the players into filling, right? Because obviously in this field fight, we aren't able to prevent people from reinforcing the ruins if they choose to do so, because it's hard to like kind of uh, play bodyguard duty. But once we start picking up marches, once less people are out in the field and more people are focused on filling, it becomes a lot easier for us to kind of go around focusing the field and melting these guys. So it was freaking hard. Let me just tell you guys that it was hard. Uh, um, finally, when we did disperse these guys in the field, I think even their whales started spam filling the ruins or trying to spam fill the ruins. And this is what actually, actually did them in because I think if the whales kind of had to stay focused on the field, this could have made it possible for their other players to reinforce, right? Because once they stopped kind of uh, manhandling us in the field, we were able to just start um, taking sides of the ruins and just picking off reinforcements as they came in. Not only did this just fill hospitals very passively, it just made it really hard to enter the ruins. And you see right there, 1.9 mil, that's not bad. But uh, it, it does become like progressively worser and worser and worser. And once they get to, I think it's 1 million troops, our guys are way more brazen. And they're like, okay, well... We can swarm now because, you know, you want it down to that kind of mark where it's worth it. And the fact that they were struggling as hard as they were on the field, you wanted to drop that ruins as fast as possible. Because if they did have, let's say, maybe a mega whale just sends all five of their marches to reinforce that ruins, all that work for like the next maybe five, ten minutes is screwed, right? So you want to melt that thing very fast. And that's what you see them doing um, later in the video. And overall, I think this situation was honestly handled pretty well considering our uh, circumstances. I do think that HMB honestly held on really well uh, considering they had a 2v1 on the field here. And, you know, there's just a lot of mega whales on both sides. So kind of maintaining this was nearly impossible. You know what I mean? And like I said, dude, the AOE on this uh, ruins has to hurt. I can't imagine they didn't get like a, a few million death worth of damage just from the aoe from how long we were fighting and how many people were kind of uh, hovering over ruins as much as they were it was kind of crazy kind of crazy guys okay um i think dhx honestly dropped maybe one or two rallies which kind of sucked but um we did manage to kind of maintain ours so i guess i guess everything worked out fine considering the situation i do kind of run out of i think it's either resources or speed ups and i do kind of convert to another account and that's why you're going to see me sit still for a while and i think it's like here that is it still or no it's it's going to be soon right but um you see right there 1.6 mil troops basically and it's going to start maintaining and steadying at that and after we start clearing up the field which you will see in a little bit um that there's like way less marches we are able to just start focusing on reinforcements and kind of cutting off anything that would come in here and it was kind of a wrap after that. I don't think there's really much to say in that regard. And I honestly don't know if I will continue off here. Um, I will make a point to say that there is the report at the end of the video. So if you don't end up wanting to watch the full video and you do want to end up seeing the report, you can zoom, a scr sorry, scroll to the very end of the video because that report is at the very, very end, okay? And yeah, I think that's really it for my talking here. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the silence or maybe you can blast some music in the back if that's, if that's what you guys want to do. But I do uh, appreciate you guys as always for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy um, kind of the commentary, you know, enjoyed the footage. I hope it's not oversped. I hope I'm not zooming in and stuff too much. I did try to make a point to cut my video down, um, cut the parts where I'm kind of moving around a lot at like super speed, you know what I mean? But yeah, I do appreciate you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys uh, just have a great day or night. So yeah, you guys have a good one. Peace.